I'd like to meet a young fellow over here. Come on, John. This fellow's name is Don Gray, and he comes from Barry. And uh, you carry on from there, Don. Well, George, I guess we're in the same business. I'm a TV announcer at the Barry television station, CKVR TV Channel 3. Got to get it in. Ralph Snellgrove station, right? All right. And how come, if you're an announcer, pipe down. <laughs> If you're an announcer, how come you're plunking on a guitar and singing? Well, I started plunking and uh, singing folk songs back in the early days of high school, but it was just the kind of thing I uh, brought out in mothballs whenever a party rolled around. But since I got into TV, I began taking up folk singing a little more seriously because you need to do a number of things, I think. And that's that's for sure. Versatility is what counts. That's now the word. Say. What are you going to sing tonight? I thought I'd try an old Harry Belafonte folk song, an English ballad called The Fox. Mm. Jimmy Rogers recorded it too. I think See, so. I'm full of information. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Don Gray and the Fox. And good luck, buddy. Thank you. Well, the Fox went out on a chilly night. He prayed to the moon to give him light. Cause he'd many a mile to go that night before he'd reach the town. Oh, town, oh, town. He'd many a mile to go that night before he'd reach town. So the fox, he ran to the king to a pen where the ducks and the geese were put therein. A couple of you were gonna grease my chin before I leave the town. A couple of you were gonna grease my chin before I leave the town. Well, he grabbed a gray goose by the neck and he flung it up across his back. He didn't mind the quack, quack, quack and the legs all dangling down. Down, oh, down, oh. He didn't mind the quack, quack, quack and the legs all dangling down. Old Mrs. Flipper jumped out of bed and up to the window she cocked her head. John, John, the gray goose is gone and the fox is on the town, oh, town, oh, town. John, hey, John, the gray goose is gone and the fox is on the town. Johnny goes running to the top of the hill, blowing his horn both loud and shrill. Foxy said, I better play with my kill, they'll soon be on my trail. Trail, oh, trail, oh. Foxy said, I better play with my kill, they'll soon be on my trail. So the Foxy ran till he came to his den. There were his little ones, eight, nine, ten. They said, Daddy, you better go back again. Cause it must be a mighty fine town, oh, town, oh, town. They said, Daddy, better go back again, for it must be a mighty fine town. So the fox and his wife, without any strife, they cut up the goose with a spoon and knife. They never had such a supper in their life, and the little one chewed on the bone. They never had such a supper in their life. And all the little ones shoot on the bone. <clears throat> Don Gray. We'll be back with our winner from Kitchener right after this.